Good morning, boys and girls. Today, we are going to continue working on our reading. So take out the story you read yesterday. Do you remember what it's called? Let me give you a little hint. What are these? And what is this? So what's the name of our story? That's right, ducks in the water. Well done, everybody. Now go get your reading, the story, and for fun, we're gonna read it again. Why? Because practice makes Perfect. That's right, boys and girls. Practice makes perfect. So here is our story. Ducks in the water. Ducks like to be in water. They can swim fast. They play games in the water. They find food there too. Ducks eat little bugs and fish. They pull plants out of the water to eat. Ducks have big orange feet. The feet are good for pushing the water. Their feet make ducks good swimmers. Ducks' feet are not so good for climbing and running. Their feet are not good for climbing. Sometimes ducks must come out of the water. They cannot walk as well as they can swim. Ducks must take care on land. If ducks are not careful on land, a fox may catch them. Why do you think a fox likes to catch a duck? Great job, everybody! Very good reading! Now it's time to answer some questions. So take out your notebooks, write the date, and be ready to answer some questions. Okay, are your notebooks ready? If they're not, put pause and get ready. Se non avete già preso i quaderni e scritto la data, mettete pausa a questo punto e vi preparate. Okay, so let's answer these questions. In your notebooks, you can just write number one and the letter okay or you can copy I leave it up to you but remember I always say more is better now number one 
why, why, perché, why do foxes like to catch ducks? Hmm. Why do foxes like to catch ducks? Now remember, why means perché. Qual è il motivo? Number two. What do ducks like to eat? Number three, what can ducks use their feet to do? A cosa servono i piedi delle papere? What can ducks use, utilizzare, use their feet to do? Push water or to talk fast. Hmm. Eat that talk. Very good. Number four. Why don't foxes catch ducks in the water? Why? Perché foxes catch? Catch vuol dire prendere, afferrare. Perché non prendono le papere dove? E qui abbiamo una... A preposition. Oh, why don't foxes catch ducks in the water? In is a preposition. Qui capiamo l'importanza di queste piccoli parole. Very small words, but mamma mia come cambia tutta la frase. In the water. Dentro la. Out of the water. Fuori dall'acqua. E lì tutta la storia cambia per le povere papere. No? Everything is different for our poor little ducks. In the water, they are fine. Oh, okay. Number five. Which animal is most like a duck? In questo caso, like, e qui l'inglese dimostra tutta la sua magia, like, e come, come assomiglia. Quindi, which animal is most like a duck? Quale animale è più vicino? La babera. The robin. What is a robin? Anybody know what a robin is? This is a robin. Have you ever seen these birds? Avete mai visto questi uccellini, magari il parco dell'Eur? Especially in the spring or in the fall. No, they're little dark birds, either gray or black, with a bright red chest. This is a robin. A bee? We all know what a bee is, right? This is a bee. Busy as a bee. And a fox. This is our fox. So which animal is most like a duck? What do you think? Number six. What will you never see a duck do? Cosa non vedrete mai fare ad una papera? Never. Never. My. Significa my. What will you never see a duck do? Climb a big tree. 
eat in the water or swim very fast. Hmm. What will you never see a duck do? Very good, boys and girls. So now, in your notebooks, answer these questions. Okay. So what do you know about ducks? Circle the right answer. So again, in your notebooks, just put the number and the letter, or yes or no. Okay. Which is the duck's foot? Do ducks eat <laughs> candy? Do ducks have four feet? Do ducks eat water plants? Can ducks read books? Do ducks like ponds? Do ducks swim on land? Do ducks catch bugs? Can a fox catch a duck on land? So again, in your notebooks, numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Just write your answer. Put pause to do this exercise. And when you finish, let's continue. Now I have some riddles for you. Do you remember what riddles mean? Vi ricordate la parola riddles? Ne avete scritte alcune a scuola? When we were talking about animals. Animal riddles. Here I have two animal riddles. Number one. I am little. I have many feet. Ducks eat me. Children do not eat me. What am I? In your notebooks, copy the riddle and write the answer. And number two. I am an animal. I have four feet. Ducks must watch out for me. Mm. Watch out. Fare attenzione. Watch out. What am I? And again, copy in your notebooks the riddle. Write the answer. Finally, the last exercise, I promise. Questo è l'ultimo, prometto, prometto, prometto. Draw lines to match the opposite. What do opposites mean? Cosa significa? Opposites, gli opposti. Quindi, look at the word in the duck, for example, push what you do to a door, you know, you push, or you pull. And let's look at other opposites. In, up, on, go, big, good, stop, down, little, bad, here, off, out. So put pause and write the matches, write the pairs. Good job, everybody. Well done. That's it for today. See you later, alligator. Bye-bye, butterflies.